Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life. Heads, Brendan, how are you, mate? Oh, I'm alright. It's uh, how's it been? How, we've been, we've had a couple of days off. A couple of days off. Played golf. Played some golf. We lost some sats. You lost some. I sats. lost some I sats. Lost a couple of sats. Yeah, you shat all over me but, on um, Twitter. So thanks for that. But now we're back to um, back in the garage. It's freezing yeah. cold. But and we're, before sorry, on. before we progress, though, can can we can you actually um, just tell people that I wasn't too bad at golf? No, you were actually okay at golf. The yeah. one the, the recording the one, video. The one, one video one, you decided to get. We put one video it. onto Twitter and it looked. And my one video was probably my the best video. Oh. So um, no, you you're consistent. You're consistent. Oh, well, anyway. it, was, it was fun though. It was the sunshine and it was we're playing golf and it was good. Yeah. And what are we doing with the sats? Straight to straight to the Docs Fund. Straight to the Doc's jar. Yep. Um, so I don't know what it's up to now, but next we'll put it out on the pod and end give people an update. And at the end of the year, probably, do we yep. say in year? Yeah. We're going to put some sats to some good cause. So anybody wants to contact us about what they think that good cause should be, please yep. do that. That's right. It's not going to be a lot of sats, but it's going to be some. So um, don't get too excited. That's right. <laughs> we're happy to give something. Um, but thankfully, we have a guest. We do have a guest. Back to having a guest again. So, yeah. Um, so we, we have, or um, well, the handle is I am underscore Satoshi. A bit of an OG handle, I believe. Um, Toma, do you want to tell us uh, hey. who you are and what you do, what you've done, mate? Uh, um, um, what have I done? I don't know. I've done a few um, documentaries about Bitcoin over the years. First one is called Ulterior States. Probably started that at the end of 2011. And it was only released in 2015. Um, then I did some other work but more to 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 our topic i did a bitcoin and el salvador documentary um when was that? last year or beginning of last year and it was just released and and, and that's pretty much what i do i guess yeah, documentaries so you just released was it bond bond to unbind no bond to unbind yeah yes. bitcoin and el salvador so that's only just come out like in the last couple of months or Yes, I mean, um, um, what's today? It came out mid May, yeah. Mid -May. So last oh, nice. month, okay. So, the reason we know about it is, um, a friend of ours, um, goes by the handle of uh, Beef Back Better. Um, he is, um, is a sort of uh, what's his rotational grazing beef farmer in Australia, but he took the opportunity to go to El Salvador recently. Um, because and so we have, we've had him on the podcast a couple of times, but um, he, to see what the the real story was in El Salvador, which was really interesting, and it was him that recommended um, your documentary. So that's mm -hmm. the first week we became aware of it. I don't know whether you guys met or whether he just became of the no, uh, aware I, of your. I never met him. No, never, you've not met. I him? never met him while I was down there either. So I don't know if he's there for a while now. But he was know. more. I think he was out for three or four weeks or something like yeah, that. At about the time, a month, but, yeah, and maybe and sort of maybe considering going back. Um, like potentially for uh, like work opportunities, I guess. Mm. Um, really enjoyed mm. it. Really interesting to speak to somebody that was um, who's actually been there, been on the ground, and actually doing things and getting the the, the good and the bad of of Bitcoin over there. Um, and that's what I found with your documentary is that it's it's um, like it tells the the the, the real story. The the or it's, that's what it, that's how it comes across to me. It was it wasn't just full of Bitcoin's going to save the world and this is how. It was like well, here's what people actually think of it real people think of it and, and what the changes have been oh. um well I, i'd say thank you because um that's kind of what i was going for um yeah i mean i don't think that um, um there's only the good side of it right there is obviously the bad side of it <clears throat> to be honest when i first arrived in el salvador i wanted to know everything about like politically about the opposition and how um the whole human rights thing and it's just for being there after a few days you realize that um um it's not really what it seems like when 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 you're out here and um i didn't i didn't go there with a specific story to tell right so i was just telling what's on the ground i mean if there is anything that i can say is that like the word honest really um stands out when the locals say that what I as a gringo in two weeks did there if they think that it's honest then 
that's probably the best that I can ask for, not more than that, you know. Sorry, my voice is just, I was ill for two weeks, so my voice is hello. That's all good. All That's good. okay, mate. So, um, it's, so it's a great film, like really, really enjoyable, as, as Hats was saying. When you make a film, what's your kind of starting point? Do you go, right, I need to just go get on the ground and just approach yeah. people and start asking questions Is it, and yeah that's just, what i did yeah and just filming and compiling hours and hours of footage yeah mm. and then get back home and realize that i have two weeks worth of material and i need to do something with it yeah. <laughs> and what's that process that's what i did what's that process like though because that's got to be daunting just actually or, or or i guess at the time you film somebody and you go gee that's a good one and yeah so but it's not there's you get both back. of those yeah so there's the the times that you film someone and you think that's good and then you, you kind of note it down and then two or three weeks down the line you have to go and search for it again and sometimes it doesn't sound as good and sometimes it's the you know you guys are holding your own podcast so it's probably similar sometimes it's the stuff that right, it's right before that that you learn huh this is actually more interesting than the actual what i thought would be interesting so there's that and and also there is the you know that you got to watch everything i mean I, I i don't know if it's very similar with the podcast but when i got back to london i had to watch everything for you know it took me two or three weeks of just watching everything again and again and creating um all these sequences thinking like oh this is definitely going to make it that's definitely going to make it at the end of the day none of it made it really because i've watched everything so many times that it's just little bits that but yeah i would say that that's the big that's like that's some of the work it's like just noting down when you think good bits are are, are happening um but the majority of the work for me is just going back home and and watching it over and over and over it's it's not um maybe if i had a story to tell beforehand it would be easier but because i don't have a story to tell and i'm just trying to um find something interesting but at the same time stay honest um that's that's really my story so it's just watching everything i mean i would say that for the first three or four weeks i was just watching everything again and again and again until i felt comfortable to cut and 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 add um people to interview even if what they said didn't really make sense for both of them to be right next to each other that's after doing it for a few weeks you start feeling comfortable with the character that chopping it is also something that um makes more sense if that makes sense. yeah yeah if the... but that's um i mean i th actually think that will make it if you're going with a predetermined story you want to tell it's much the same as having a story you want to tell and finding a statistic to match your story if you're actually just you know to match your the argument you're yeah trying yeah. To yeah you're leaning towards your own confirmation yeah, but biases. if you're actually if you if you're just going to a place you know there's a story to be told but you're just going in there and discovering the story that's there you i think the 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 end result now granted I'm, I'm i'm certain there's a lot of work went into the end result but um yeah you're probably going to get a more genuine back to you know back to the honest um th this, is, this is this is how it is this is, or at least this is how i found it right yeah. this is these this is this is how it is with the people i spoke with um yeah and and i must say for the first few days in el salvador i didn't record anything i was just there trying to observe everything and yep. and i wasn't call it whatever you want culture shock i mean um it was sorry but do you did you have any did you have any um uh like connection to el salvador yourself or had you, had you ever been before or i've never been before there's one person whom i spoke with beforehand i don't want to mention a name but sure. he was there before um um and he helped me with um he helped me with two contacts which are very um crucial for the film um while i was there he gave me the numbers of two people that um um are um, interviews in the film so i don't really want to give names on that one yeah no, um fair. um so that's the help that i had um which was great um i i can't say thank you enough because he really sorted me out um 
but I, I took it from there. I took it from um, 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 the very few contacts that I had. And I was just, like I said, for the first few days, I was just listening. I was trying to listen because I was, at the same time, I was looking for, I was there to make a film, right? So I'm listening to everyone talking in the beginning. It didn't make too much sense, but it was at that point, maybe when I realized that it's my fault, that I'm, I'm, I've got the barriers, you know, I've learned Bitcoin for years before that. So maybe this is just a different way. I don't know how, but um, um, it's a very weird environment. The first few days in San Salvador when we were there, because it was just um, segregated by the police. I don't know if you've ever been in that experience before, but there were just there were these two. There was a fancy hotel, and then there was the art center for San Salvador, the art gallery for arts um, San Salvador next to it, and there was a conference there, a conference there, and that whole ring was just covered with police, right? So it was in the beginning, it was just like, mm, it's a bit weird, never been in this situation before. And then I spoke to locals. So they haven't been to that in that situation before. They're not used to seeing tourists walking about with mm. flip-flops and stuff, right? Yeah. In the middle of the city. It's not the ocean. Um, so it took a few days to, to, to really get into it and in the beginning it was just like shit there's police everywhere like this isn't comfortable and then um after a few days leaving san salvador and leaving that small area you start seeing the real el salvador and it's just it's fantastic i mean i mean i went to el salvador with everyone and their sister telling me to watch out and how can you go there by yourself and camera and all that stuff and traveling around and I didn't see any of that violent bit of El Salvador. I saw a beautiful country. So I started filming just the the, the, the local um, the locals, you know, and just like after three or four days, I realized that once they moved away from the place, it was just, I didn't want to speak to the foreigners who came to El Salvador. Not that I didn't want to speak with them. That's the wrong way to put, to put it. I didn't want to speak to them on camera because I thought that, like you, like you guys were saying, it's just like, am I going to tell the story of the foreigner in El Salvador? So that's that was really the beginning of my film, trying to learn about international interventionism in El Salvador when it comes to the Bitcoin world. Um, um, and it was great. To be honest, it was great. I've, I've, I've met some of the coolest people in the scene for, for a while. Um, and the people generally of El Salvador, are they fairly receptive to talking on camera or talking to you? Are, are they? Are they? They weren't in the beginning. They weren't in the beginning. No, um, I think most of it is the language barrier. Yeah. Um, but once I got to meet the people, I got to meet the people. You know, like once I actually got to hang out with the people, it was just a different story. So. Um, for me, it was just um, um, going to travel, going to see what the place is like. It was just fantastic. I mean, we went to our Japan, we went to El Zonte, we went, it was, I don't know when. I'd go again. My plan is to go again in November. So I'd highly recommend you guys to, to go and see what the place is like. It's um, just just for yourself or for work purposes to go and do a follow-up type thing or what would what would that be that's a good question um i'm gonna go down with the camera i'm gonna go down with the kit um yep. i have one project in mind um it's not a full-blown um i don't I, I actually don't know we'll see i'm gonna go down with the camera if i end up going down because my kids changing schools that um 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 gonna go down with the camera i'm really hoping to do some work with some guys there um but there's nothing set in stone yet um but there are very interesting projects happening in el salvador so i would recommend checking it out and is it, is it just you with the camera or have you got a, have you got a crew a team a buddy um so <clears throat> it started as me but um on the film and if I go in November, maybe she's going to join me. There's Claudia, who's with a camera as well. 
Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but on Bontu and Vine, and Bontu and Vine um, camera, second camera, I got a lot of help from Claudia. And the, I, um, I really like the um, the animations that you use, or whoever did your animations, and the music was unusual, but but. I don't know. It had this kind of juxtaposition, but it really—I think it really worked and came together because it was an unusual. I don't know where you got the music from or who did the music, but it was, um, yeah, it was good. Well, it's fr friends of mine. I um, highly recommend them. If, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, I must say, originally the music wasn't. Um, um, so I edited the film with different music, and then I approached which I created, terrible music. Um, and then I approached my friend and I said, um, can you make something better for me, please? Um, so he did with the picture as it was. So, I, um, but he has fantastic music, yeah, really yeah. like, um, 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 compared to what I had is like night and day. I'm just kind of <laughs> proving to myself that I shouldn't touch music. <laughs> and, uh, what's the response been? Has it been uh, good feedback? Um, yeah, good feedback. Um, I guess I didn't really push it to like. So first time a one man team when it comes to like editing it and releasing it and marketing it. So I gave it a go on Twitter where I could, but um, kind of let it go. I was also very ill. The first, the, I don't know what happened to me, but the last few weeks I was very ill, and the whole family has been down. So I didn't really give it a go. Feedback has been. Okay, I guess um, um, some people have said they've enjoyed it. Some people had a, um, um, an issue saying that I'm mixing the music too loud. Um, <laughs> some people said that they needed some voiceover narrative because um, it didn't make too much sense to them. But overall, I'd say that most people had a good response and they said that... Um, um, they wanted to play it back in their respective community, wherever that was. It was from all over the world. Honestly, I got feedback from all over the world, which is good. Um, the most important is that people in El Salvador watched it and, 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 it, and it didn't um, and it get, didn't get shut down by the Salvadorans, which um, um, I mean, it was a movie in English, so obviously the majority of them can't watch them or don't have the patience or don't really need to watch it. But um, um, the fact that I could see on the analytics that a big population in El Salvador watched the film is kind of um, it's a good thing for me as well, mm -hmm. um, just personally, you know. Um, that's it, I think. Well, it must so be Community-wise... Sorry. Sorry, please. No, no, please go on. Community-wise, I think the feedback was good, um, but um, I don't really know much more than that. I mean, people didn't speak with me. If coming from a country like El Salvador, it's it, you know, it's become across Bitcoiners' radar in the last couple of years, and most of us had, including me, had very little knowledge of it in the first place, and now all of a sudden we're all sort of claiming to be experts. And you've seen the mm -hmm. you know, Twitter goes crazy, and the president speaks, and all that kind of stuff. But it's really been, as I see it, is it like as a country of people, certainly in its modern history, country of people having to leave, right, because they had to leave to you know to fund, bring money back home, right? They had to mostly go into the states to work send money back home yeah. whereas now you're just getting this this bitcoin has come along within the last well whatever it's been now 18 months or two years and all of a sudden you're seeing huge amount of interest from externally to well maybe for for local people to come home hopefully they're able to come home but 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 then all these all these other international people interested in in um in their country which must be exciting must be good but you you got to be wary as well when all of a sudden these strangers are showing up and wanting to you know no no offense but like you know put a camera in your face and go well so why are they wanting to do this right mm. did, did, did did you get that sort of impression at all or i did i mean no i didn't get that impression i mean not from other people i got it myself like i i i was worried of that for myself not for my security but for the integrity of the film mm -hmm. um um yeah you're right you know and and it's uh, there's. I was afraid first 
there is this um, international um, group of people that is in El Salvador that I was a little bit worried about because of their motives. Um, and and I'm not I'm trying not to be naive, but so far everything that I've seen was with a very clean conscious. So it was very um, um I don't know if it's Bitcoin related to that or oh it's because it's related to Bitcoin or I don't know because maybe the reason is that I'm too naive. Um, um but I I think that they haven't had to deal with that hurdle yet i think that mm -hmm. it's yet to come you know i don't think that it's big enough to be honest like it looks big on in, on twitter yeah um um but it's not that large i mean it's becoming big i mean not becoming it's growing mm -hmm. and it's bigger than it was when i first landed there but um i can't say that the country just turned on to bitcoin because it didn't you know um, um everywhere i went I think not everywhere I went, but I would say half the places I went to were happy to accept Bitcoin, mm -hmm. um, which is huge. You That's know? massive, yeah. Mm. It's, people are aware of it. People are talking about it. I mean, I know I'm a foreigner and they were asking me Bitcoin questions and all that stuff. It's great, you know, like in, in the sense that um, I think that what you're talking about is yet to come. I think that Bitcoin needs to get bigger in El Salvador or more people need to adopt it before you start seeing that. Um, um, we don't want to see that camera. You're not from here type thing. You know, so far they're extremely welcoming. It's one of the most, I mean, I've traveled a lot in my life. It's one of the most welcoming places I've ever been to, you know? Yeah. It's just like people are so nice. People were so nice to us. They took us everywhere, you know. And again, there's Bitcoin related to that. And the people that took us about wanted to learn about Bitcoin as well. But we had the best time. And and I think that uh, just be nice, you know. Okay, so one of the interesting um, snippets from the from the film. Um, and and I think it was probably a function of um, probably the timing of when you did this. So um, let, um, let me get this. So how long, when did you start? When did you initially go to start the film? Just so I can try and piece this together myself. Um, so we started, by starting, do you mean po um, pre-production or do you I'm, mean like? No, I mean, I mean you being out in El Salvador. When was that? Mid-November. Mid, so, okay, that's really interesting, right? So, because if we look at, if we just correlate that to Bitcoin price, we've basically uh -huh. got, we've basically gone down since you've been there, right? That's kind of what's happened. And it so, peaked in November, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. so. So, yeah. um, but we've, but one of the interviews, the, there was a gentleman saying that, um, you know, we used to get inflation on the dollar and now we're getting inflation because of in his words because of bitcoin and conflating the two things mm. now that's not uh -huh. that's not the reason it's happening but i can totally understand why the gentleman thought it was um so i'm just trying to piece together the like this this you're, you're going to have massive skepticism you should have massive skepticism if you're a person living in el salvador and this thing has just been maybe to a lot of people sort of forced upon you even yeah. though it's, it's, and it's then an optionally, and, pr and then prices go up exactly. Yeah. Um, and you go, well, why have, is this just another, um, you know, is this just another politician taking advantage of me? You yeah. know, not. Um, and then yeah. so it's, to get some of that tone coming through in the in the movie is re I thought was su super important. Definitely, because, um, yeah, because as I say, we can all well, wow. There's a country that's accepting it. It's a, you know, it's legal tender somewhere, and you know, we're all going to the moon. It's that's not how it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah i just I, I like that so how did that feel do you know the gentleman i'm speaking about when i'm talking about that yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. how did how did that feel in that moment did you want to sort of explain <laughs> why that wasn't the case or did you want to just listen and and no and I, I just i allow people to speak you know so yeah. once he started going on i was like please go and tell me about it bro. Yeah. It, it was also 37 or 36 degrees outside with extreme humidity so i was <laughs> trying to catch a breath as well but yeah, um, okay. um um 
No, once no, not like once the people that. How should I explain it? Once non Bitcoiner talk about Bitcoin, I usually just let them speak, and I don't try to say anything as opposed because I know that <clears throat> there's no point saying anything. You know, they have their um, little thing to say, and it's like gone. You know, he definitely. I don't think that um, um, I at the time when it happened, there were loads of snippets during that interview that I thought are going to make it in the real in the mm -hmm. final cut, <laughs> but. Um, 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 the Bitcoin bit, see, there's no position to, to, to the president in, um, in, 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 in El Salvador. And he's meant to be an opposition, right? He's, he's run for, he did the primaries for the presidential candidacy for, for arena, he says in the right wing. Um, um, there's no. There's no opposition to, to Bitcoin right now in El Salvador. First, it's not big enough. But second, it's just um, people don't understand it. So the opposition to Bitcoin, I don't need to say it. I mean, um, it's, it's just non-existent. You know, it's just um, um, it's people trying to, it's opposition to the president. It's got nothing to do with Bitcoin. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a huge amount of, well, the crackdown on gang violence and all that kind of stuff is, is sort of coincided with, the, with that time scale as well, mm. right? So that's a whole issue that's probably way more important to people who live in on the ground in El Salvador I'm than this Bitcoin right. thing that's just arrived. Um, yeah, that's before, that's um, that's after I left, so okay, I must, okay. um, I didn't see any of that. I didn't experience any of that. Um, I don't know, I feel for the people of Salvador. I mean, yeah, I didn't experience any of the violence or the gangs or the arrests or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, that's what I once was this, the exact same story the person I was being about earlier. Um, same. Yeah, he just had a really, really positive experience and was and mm -hmm. was also saying like he spent I think he spent a time in San Salvador and I think he spent time in Amazonte. He was going to go to try to get to Guatemala for the Bitcoin. Was it called Lake over there? But um, uh -huh. But but I don't think he actually made it there. But what he said about um, El Zonte was that he felt was it like fifty fifth? He felt like like half of the people that were there were actually just there for surfing. I mean, they weren't there for Bitcoin. Yeah, like it's it's still yeah. that you know, it's still that's kind of that's that's the truth of the matter rather than this, you know. All of a sudden, we're going to we're going to mine Bitcoin with a volcano. Like, these Bitcoin things that, that make headlines are not necessarily the the real story. Um, and that's no no, it's um it's it's much smaller than it is. I mean, I didn't really. I didn't know anything coming from London, right? So mm. I, I just I went there to learn and try to document what I see. But it's um, El Zonta has some people that are more Bitcoin minded. But once you get out of El Zonta, unless you know the people, Bitcoin is um, is not in your face at all. Mm. Um, um, you can ask any shop if they would accept Bitcoin, and they would say probably yes. You know. I mean, every practically is that what you did or every you... hotel we stayed in not the big um, um san salvador hotels but um, um on the side of the road type hotel every place we stayed in we downloaded i mean some already had a bitcoin wallet some asked to download a bitcoin wallet asked there were a lot of how do we do that type thing you know yeah um so yeah we paid using bitcoin for most of this stuff Okay. Or, so or a, at least, yeah. There's still a there's, huge education piece for the people. Huge. It's all about education. It's all yeah. about education. You know, it's, uh, I must say, there's the guy from Mi Premier Bitcoin, and they're doing an amazing job. Um, have you heard of them? So they do um, the first national diploma for high school kids about Bitcoin in San Salvador. Oh, um, I have heard about that. I think that yes. was on another pod, I think pod somewhere. Maybe what was his name? Mike Peterson was on Preston's pod recently. Maybe. And I think that's. I think he's heavily involved with the Bitcoin, the El Zonte movement. So the kind of starter of the El Zonte movement, I think. Yeah, yeah. So that's in El Zonte. That's in San Salvador. Both are doing, you know, amazing work. But um, um, it's growing. You know, it's 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 not going to happen overnight. And it's all about education and 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 you know, starting at the lower levels or in the younger levels 
um, is probably the best way to go about it. And, you know, you can, you can go on the side of the road in, 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 in the middle of nowhere and, and try to pay with Bitcoin. And it's probably going to work. And, and it's better than 99% of the world right now. Uh, but but it's not going to happen overnight. You know, it's just like, it's all about education. And, and, and the people, everyone I met, I understand it was a tiny percent of the population. Their eyes were just like, they were sucking knowledge, you know. Yeah. They were like, yeah. they really need it out there. And, and um, yeah, it's just people are helping, you know, and... So people were aware of Bitcoin, right? They're aware of this, the changes. Um, they're probably a lot aware of, uh, when I say aware, they know of rather than necessarily um, can, can fully explain or anything. Um, and then and then they'd probably be aware of Chivo. Um, but were, were, other yeah. things, were other things prevalent as well? Or um, Let's see. So you see Chivo, you see the ATMs, you see the point of sales. I can't say that I've seen anyone using it. Um, so the thirty dollars that each citizen got was it was all paid in Chivo. Um, I didn't. It, they didn't make the final cut, but I did about three or four interviews with um, taxi drivers that I took and asked them all about their thirty dollars worth of Chivo. I'll tell you, um, three out of the four took that $30 to the grocery store as soon as they got it. Yeah. The yeah. fourth one um, spent about half in the grocery store and the other half in the gas station because it was a specific gas station that was awarding, um, whatever, awarding, giving a discount, like a 10, 15% discount. Yeah. So they used it for that. Um, so you can use it for that, right? So you will have gas stations and supermarkets no matter where you go in the middle of nowhere that will take you. Big. Like, it's happening in that sense, you know? Like, if you wanted to live on Bitcoin alone, it would be no problem, right? Where here in the UK, I wouldn't say that it's the same anymore. <laughs> um, so, Tor, cool. where do you think um, the education should come from? Do you think... Mm. Do you think that has to be something that's done by Salvadoran people themselves, or do you th or is there a necessity for for people to come from outside? It's a good question, and you phrased it well too. So it's a combination of the two, right? So it has to come through Salvadorians people if you want locals to actually soak it in and believe what they're hearing. Mm. Um, I would hope that in the future, Bitcoin will maybe be big enough in Salvador for it to trickle down through Salvadorian sources. Unfortunately, that's not how it is at the moment. Not to say that the international people there are not doing an amazing work. It's just, it's, it's, it's just the beginning, right? So um, um, I've mentioned an organization before i'm not a big ngo fan and that's why i had my issues with them in the beginning but they're doing such an amazing work it might make me change my the way that i look at ngos in other people in other countries but um, um at the moment this is how it is whether it's in el zonte or in san salvador it's education that it's trickling down usually through, I think, me, Premier Bitcoin is an American gentleman. And at least when I was there, it was a Dutch gentleman that was doing more of their finances. And But then there's Gloriana and Raul, which are the two teachers right now, as far as I can see from Twitter, for the National Diploma, the Bitcoin National Diploma, which is, like I said before, it's probably one of the more exciting um bitcoin products in in the world as they are i mean it's teaching 16 17 year olds in public infrastructure what bitcoin is what's a non-custodial wallet if there is such a thing i don't know maybe that's a way to get people to start learning more about how to hold their coins and they're running a node out of a public school so um um to be fair, 
me Premier Bitcoin, as far as I can tell, is made out of a lot of Salvadorian people at the moment. But at the head, there are a couple um, Westerners. Um, if that's going to change, probably. Does it need to change? Probably. Um, I mean, like, is it going to get more locals to actually want to take part of it? Because like you're saying, it's it's obvious. If, if you come from outside and you try to teach someone something, then and it's this new white technology or whatever you want to call it, it's very hard to go behind and say like, yeah, I want to hear everything about it. Where if it would be a local person or someone who can actually read the code sometimes, it would be easier. And there's, um, so there's the, the government or the, the call it the public infrastructure for education and they're doing more than they can, right? I mean, the government in El Salvador, a lot of people are giving them slack for different reasons, but actually they're doing an amazing job. I mean, think about it. It's just like you have millions of people to take care of. And on top of that, you want to learn, teach them how to use Bitcoin. It's like they have so many issues to start up with before that. Coming from within directly or coming from outside, it doesn't really matter. Bitcoin is just one thing on top of that. And then they have this Chivo wallet or is Chivo really private or is government infrastructure? We don't really know, but it doesn't matter because it's the same like it's a government, it's a country. They have to do all these things and then they have Bitcoin on top of. So people telling them, or people, um, um, Western media saying that um, this and that and this and that, sometimes they might be right compared to the standards that we have here. Um, um, but it's, I don't know, I'm, sometimes I'm afraid that the government of El Salvador is trying to take on more than they can actually mm. take as one comment. So then, there's and, and we, if we're talking about education, so this is the public infrastructure, and then you have businesses which are, from what I wouldn't say they're flocking into El Salvador, Bitcoin businesses, but they are definitely moving to El, or not moving to El Salvador. They're opening offices in El Salvador. That's not that's not really hype. That's actually happening, yeah. um, um, and and they at some sort of educational infrastructure but they're there for profit right so they need to, to to make sure that at the end of the day they need to make sure that they're making enough money and then there are the ngos or the volunteers or whatever we want to call them that are there in masses and they're teaching bitcoin um is the government really taking liking to them and 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 helping them i don't know I don't know. I mean, I can tell that there's stuff happening, but it doesn't really. And again, I'm I'm seeing it at the moment from outside. It doesn't really look like the public infrastructure and the private infrastructure is 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 heading towards the same place when it comes to to to. I'm trying to say it really nicely, but we. In, in, in how to store your Bitcoin, right? So if, if there's a lot of Chivo, pro-Chivo um, um, education that comes out of El Salvador, there is a lot of not anti-Chivo, but at least you um, can also almost call it anti-Chivo. And at the moment, to me, it doesn't look like they're both going to really want to work together because they're both trying to say stuff a little bit differently about Bitcoin. And and it really it doesn't matter because it's all gonna merge into am I am I making sense here? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I th- it's um I think Chivo sorry. might be sort of a necessary um you know it had the incentive, the thirty dollar incentive for downloading the app and and as you say the taxi driver can pay for some fuel. Um, by doing that so that, that that gives somebody the incentive to want to do it in the first place but i mean longer term i think that probably the solution will come from you know the market it, be that you know a you know i don't know a blue wallet a moon wallet a whatever a lightning wallet it doesn't matter <laughs> there, there'll be there'll be um options for the people and the people will ultimately choose um the one that yeah. will work the one that works for them is the one that they'll choose 
Um, exactly. Not, but, and yeah. they're not there yet. They're not there yet. When you meet most Salvadorians and want to learn about Bitcoin right now, mm -hmm. they're like, so tell me, which one should I use? And they show you like yeah. 15 different wallets, right? It's still at that point because yes. they're still just experimenting with everything. And there are great guys. I mean, there's Ibex Mercado. I don't know if you guys yep, yep. know them. They do. That's Greg. They do an amazing job in El Salvador. And then there's Open Node. They're doing an amazing job. And then Chivo has a whole team down. And then you see Wallet of Satoshi and Moon is being used by most people. So, like you see, yeah, they're just going to have to figure out. And of course, how, I mean, Bitcoin Beach is just like most of El Salvador is actually working on Bitcoin Beach Wallet. So, mm -hmm. um, um, and Strike is there. They're just going to have to figure out what's better for them, really. But we're we're no better. We're no better. We're we're all trying to figure that out too, right? Yeah. So it's yeah, like um, it's I mean, it's very um. Like you're in London. We're in Australia. You know, we consider ourselves to be sitting in you know developed countries or whatnot. But we don't have financial literacy education in our public schools. You know, we don't. No, have that. no. It's El Salvador is winning. So El Salvador is totally winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is wonderful. Which is just exactly how it should be. Yeah. Um. But um, I hope I hope we catch up. You know, we we just have to learn that. Yeah, we all want things to be ready now, and we can see what it should be. But it's a process, right? Um, yeah. Or, or one mean, other thing. One other question. I know we're a little bit tight on time, but I've got one other question is, um, the, there, you got this sort of pilgrimage Bitcoiner going to El Salvador, Salvador just now. Um, can you see it changing to? Be not just the person who goes to say I've been and comes home and tells everybody that, that they went, but the an actual okay, this I'm a guy who's going to live on the Bitcoin standard now, and this is the country that's done it first, and that's where I'm going to be. Is that going to be the case for some people? Does that, does it yeah, like there's that a now? lot of that. There's yeah. a lot of that. I like mean, people like I, restarting their life almost. It looks like that. I mean, I let's see if I actually met people that... When you're in El Zonte, you would sometimes meet um, um, people that look like they've moved or relocated their life to bit to 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 hyper bitcoinize and else to be fair i'll give it a few years because i want to see these people actually doing it for a while because it's still it's not so easy right you still have to um i don't know we'll see i don't think that is so big right now there might be some people doing it in el zonte um um but it's definitely going to get bigger and it seems like, um, yeah, it's definitely happening and it's going to get bigger. I, 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 I want to see people doing it for a few years straight before I can tell that people are actually, um, um, because it's it's much easier, I think, in the beginning to, to go and um, do your stuff and have your life in Bitcoin than after two years that you actually have to interact with a bunch of different mm. transactions and payments that don't want to hear about it. So realistically i don't know if it's still possible but um, um definitely if it's possible anywhere it's possible in el salvador you know it's um it's more open towards bitcoin than anywhere else that i've been to and i've been to quite a few countries talking to people about bitcoin um, um i would say that um compared to the place my immediate places um el salvador is levels above it and I didn't hear anything about Bitcoin coming from El Salvador before, um, I guess, like a year, a year and a half ago, maybe. That's it, right. Mm. The, the, the announcement. It, well, was it? The, was that? It was well, a, it was, I would have been April. Last it would have been year. April 2021 was the announcement of the legal tender, but it was very little prior to that. I mean, it was a little yeah. bit, but not a lot. So not, not much over 12 well, Certainly, I hadn't, wasn't aware of. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, all of a sudden it's changed so much. But yeah, sorry, that leads probably leads into your question. Yes. Well, just before you go, d did you want to give us any kind of hint on what your little next project might be? Um, so one is the national diplomas about Bitcoin in San Salvador, public infrastructure, public schooling, 17-year-old kids learning about Bitcoin, running a node, stuff like that which to me sounds like something that needs to be documented. It's already happening mm. right now. So I don't really know at what stage it's going to be. And it's with um, the teacher for the two teachers and the people that seem to be organizing it are people that helped me quite a lot in the film. So there's access as well. 
Um, the second project is um, I'd love to go to Guatemala and document some of the Bitcoin Lake action that is happening there. And it's not really, um, I'm not anywhere with it. So I did speak to the guys at Bitcoin Lake. Um, I do speak to the guys at Mi Premier Bitcoin that do their national diploma. But um, I did tell the family that I'm going to El Salvador for November. So it's slowly getting uh, there. But um, <laughs> you're going to take them with you or are you going to just go yourself? <laughs> uh, my daughter asked me this morning, how come I don't want to take her to El Salvador? Yeah, I was like, actually, I don't know why I don't want to take you. Maybe I do want to take you. But that means I won't be able to run around with a camera and, and, and do what I need to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's um, well. Is there anything you, for those projects that you're thinking of, is there anything that you're needing from the Bitcoin community to help with those projects? Because feel, um, feel free to ask right yeah, now if there's anybody that can... No, unfortunately, nothing. Um, I wouldn't. I, first, I need to actually get it going. And then maybe, hopefully, um, 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 get some um, some stuff going on with the Bitcoin community outside of See, it's all about education. If we can get people from outside of El Salvador to communicate with people inside El Salvador, and 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 there's a, that's just what needs to happen. And and I think that now through this bottom of the cycle or whatever you want to call it, that people are getting rinsed out. Um, 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 you know, that was one of my main questions when I arrived in El Salvador. What's going to happen when the shit hits the fan like it is right now? Mm. And everyone answered the same thing. You know, every single person I spoke with answered the same thing. They're just going to have to learn like everyone else, you know. And there's no free lunches in Bitcoin. So it's like, you know. That's true. Um, um, Perfect spot to end it, I think. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. I really appreciate your time, mate. Shout out to the, shout out to the, Bond to Unbind is the, is the documentary. Um, YouTube was the best place to watch it. That's where I watched it. Or is there somewhere else better that you prefer them people to go? And to? there are a few other places, but YouTube would probably does it's the high quality version. It's free. It's on YouTube. You can get it in other platforms where you pay money, but you can watch it free on YouTube. No yeah. worries, mate. Um, with the links will be below, mate. If you want to send anything else, we will put them in too. So please, uh, we'll we'll do that as well. Um, thank you very much thank for you taking guys. the time. Awesome. Thanks, thank mate. Thank you guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye.